everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Seize the Day throw, which is a beautifully textured throw, almost looks like it's woven. Uh, it's the similar on both sides of the blanket except for the simple edging that I've worked. There's a little bit more texture on the front side than there is on the back. Uh, this is a fairly large throw blanket. It's approximately 54 by 70 inches. And uh, for the pattern, I'm using a worsted weight acrylic yarn. And I've chosen uh, the Karen one pound yarn for this project. So again, it's a 100% acrylic worsted weight yarn. Now for this blanket, you're going to need quite a bit because it is a very textured blanket with these uh, long double crochets or spike stitches. Uh, so for my blanket, I used four different colors. I used two, almost two full balls of the Karen one pound in off white, and then one ball, almost a full ball of the purple color, and the same with the ocean blue and then a medium gray color. Uh, today in the tutorial I'm going to be working just a small swatch of the blanket just to give you an idea of how to work it. So I'm just going to be working in this off-white and in the purple. But for the full pattern you will need all four colors. So along, uh, actually just in case you don't have it in front of you, each of these balls of yarn has about 812 yards of yarn in it. Uh, so if you're color A you'll need two of them and then about 800 yards of both your color uh, B, C, and D. You're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook and then a copy of the written pattern, which is free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to take a look around. Don't forget to subscribe. I have many other blanket patterns here on my channel. Uh, they're my most favorite thing to make. So that you'll find uh, several if you take a look at the crochet blankets and throws uh, playlist. So let's uh, grab our hooks and yarn and learn how to crochet this seize the day throw. Our blanket today is worked in rows. So we're going to start uh, with our color A and make a slip knot. You're then going to make a foundation chain and your foundation chain will be 169 chain stitches. If you would like to change the size of your blanket, as I am going to do today, you will need a multiple of four stitches in your foundation chain plus one. So today I'm actually only going to chain 25, as I'm just going to show you a swatch on how to work the pattern and explain the color changes and so forth. So go ahead and chain 169 if you're making the full size blanket. Once you have worked your foundation chain, continuing to work with your color A, single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each stitch all the way across. So single crochet into that second chain and then into each stitch across. At the end of this row, you'll have a total of 168 single crochet stitches. At the end of your row one, chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way across, switching to your color B in the final stitch. So I'm just going to work across here and then uh, when I come to the end of the row, I'll show you how I like to change color in the middle of my project. So for row two, single crochet in each stitch all the way across, changing to your color B in the final stitch. At the end of row two, you will want to switch to your color B in that final stitch. So what you're going to do is insert your hook into that next stitch and using your color A, yarn over and draw up a loop. 
You could then drop your color A, pick up your color B, place it on your hook, and pull through. Now at the end of each of these rows, there is no need to fasten off your yarn. Uh, you will weave in this beginning end, but as we work, we're going to be carrying our yarn up the side of our work because we're working and edging. Later on, we will go and tuck in those uh, loops as we work up the side. So no need to fasten off, just leave it as is. Chain one using your color B and turn your work. For row three, we're now going to start working some of those long double crochet stitches that give us the texture in the blanket. With color B, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch and into each of the next two stitches. So you'll have three single crochet stitches all together. You're then going to work over the stitches in the last two rows. So looking at our stitches here, we have these two rows and then our foundation chain. You're going to work over top of those stitches and work a long double crochet into the foundation chain twice. So to get your first stitch lined up, you can count in at the bottom one, two, three, and then you know you're going to work into this next stitch here. You're going to work a long double crochet. To work the long double crochet yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work and insert your hook into that foundation chain down below, the fourth foundation chain. Yarn over and draw up a loop, drawing it up to the height of your stitch. So here it's about the height of a double crochet uh, or your single crochet there. Okay, you're then going to yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two more. That's your long double crochet stitch. You want to do that one more time. So over this next stitch, yarn over, Bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook into that foundation chain. This first row it might be a little bit tight, but just push your hook through. Yarn over and drop a loop to the height of your stitch. Yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. That gives you two long double crochet stitches. You're going to skip the two single crochets that are behind those stitches, the ones that you've worked over top of. Now working into the next single crochet stitches, you're going to work a single crochet in each. So one single crochet and two single crochets. You're now going to repeat what you just worked all the way across. So skip the next two, uh, yeah, down below in your foundation chain, skip the next two foundation chains then work a long double crochet, inserting your hook into that foundation chain, drawing your loop up, yarn over, pull through two twice. Work one more long double crochet stitch. And then up top in the previous row, simply work two single crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way across to your final three stitches and uh, work your final three single crochet stitches of your row three. I am here at the end of my row three. I have three single crochet stitches left. Single crochet into each of those last three stitches chain one and turn your work. This is what your work should look like so far, except a little longer. For row four, single crochet into the first stitch, chain two, skip the next two stitches, and then single crochet into each of your next long double crochet stitches. single crocheted, chain two, skip two, single crochet in each of the next two stitches. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Chain two, 
skip two and single crochet into each of the next two double crochet stitches. Chain two, skip two, and single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way across and uh, where you're going to end with a single crochet into that final stitch. I'm here at the end of my row four and I neglected to mention a moment ago when you come to the end of your row four you'll chain two, skip the next two, and in your final stitch you want to switch back to your color A. So insert your hook into that final stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, drop your color B. Now pick up your color A which is conveniently still attached to your work. Carefully pull it up the side. You don't want it to buckle and you don't want it to be too loose. Just have it laying flat. Yarn over and pull through that loop. You're then set with your color A, chain one, and turn your work. We're now going to work row five with your color A, single crochet into that first stitch. Next, work one long double crochet stitch over the next two stitches and the next two rows. So you want to work your long double crochet into the top, into the stitch that's three rows below, basically. So you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, and just at the bottom of uh, that color B there, just right underneath, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops twice. That's the first long double crochet. You want to do that in the next stitch as well, working uh, three rows below. And you have your two long double crochets. Next, you're going to chain two, skip the next two stitches, and work a long double crochet over the next stitch, working three rows below. So yarn over, insert your hook just at the base of your color B where it begins. Finish your long double crochet and work one more. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Chain two, skip two, work two long double crochet stitches. chain two, skip two, work two long double crochets. Repeat that all the way across, working a single crochet into your final stitch. At the end of your row five, single crochet into that final stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For row six, single crochet into that first stitch and single crochet into each of the next two double crochet stitches. Single, work two single crochet stitches in the next chain two space and then repeat single crochet into each of the next two long double crochet stitches and work two single crochets into that chain two space. Continue all the way across and work a single crochet into that final stitch, at that time switching back to your color B. For row seven, you're all set to go with your color B, chain one, and turn your work. For row seven, begin with a single crochet into that first stitch and into each of the next two single crochet stitches. Next, work a long double crochet over the last two rows and into the top of the stitch three rows below. So you're working your long double crochet stitch into the top of the single, first single crochet stitch there in that chain two space. There's one and two. Single crochet into each of the next single crochet, two single crochet stitches. 
and repeat long double crochet over the last two rows into the top of the stitches three rows below work two long double crochet stitches into the next two single crochet stitches up top work one single crochet you're going to repeat that all the way across For row 8, chain 1 and turn your work and you're now essentially going to repeat your row 4. Single crochet into that first stitch, chain 2, skip the next 2 stitches and single crochet into each of the next long double crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way across, chain 2, skip 2 and single crochet into the long double crochet stitches repeat that all the way across ending with a single crochet in your final stitch where you will switch back to your color A. just like so, chain one and turn your work. Now that brings you to the end of the repeat for this pattern. What you're going to do now is repeat rows five. So that's going to be a single crochet in this stitch with your color A, then your long double crochet stitches. So repeat rows five through to eight for a total of eight more times. So what that's going to mean is uh, an easy way to count is you're going to have 10 uh, of these rows with your color B long double crochet stitches. At that time you're going to fasten off after you've worked rows five to eight, uh, eight more times, fasten off your color B join your color C and uh, repeat rows 5 to 8 10 more times. You're going to work through your colors A, uh, B, C, and D twice more in that order, always keeping your color A as the foundation color. Uh, so once you have done that, so repeat rows 5 to 8, 8 more times with your color B, then rows 5 to 8 10 more times using your color C, uh, 5 to 8 10 more times using your color B, then uh, repeat that sequence once more. And then at that time you're going to finish off uh, working a with working a row 7. You're going to finish off with a row 7 and uh, your colors A and D and then fasten off and weave in your, all of your ends. If that's confusing, head over to richtexturescrochet.com and uh, download the written pattern there. It is all written out for you. Uh, once you've finished that, we're going to add an easy, subtly textured edging all the way around our blanket. Now once you've worked your blanket in its entirety, uh, you'll be ready to add a simple edging around the outside edge. So fasten off, weave in all of your ends. You're then going to take your crochet hook and join your yarn. I used my color A with a slip stitch into your top corner. You can then chain one. You're now going to work a single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way across to your corner stitch. So we're just working simple single crochet stitches all the way across the top of our blanket. We had ended off on a row 7, so you should have nice uh, spaces to work these stitches in all the way across.
all the way over to your corner stitch. When you come to that corner stitch, as I am here, you're going to work three single crochet stitches all into that corner. So there's one, two, and three. And as you do, your work should turn so that you're now working along the rough edge of your blanket. You're then going to evenly work, if you've worked uh, the original dimensions, you're going to evenly work 238 single crochet stitches across. Now you can change that number as I'm going to here and have as many or as few as you would like, just whatever's comfortable with you. Just remember how many you work so that when you come to the opposite side, you can work the same. I, uh, when I worked my blanket, I worked two single crochet stitches per color row, basically all the way down. So that's what I'm going to do here. If you have little ends, just like over here that you had as you worked up the side of your blanket, make sure you're working over top of those to hide them into the side of your blanket. Otherwise, just work your single crochet stitches evenly across. There's no pretty place to put them. You're just doing what feels comfortable with you. When you come across to the next side, into that corner stitch, work three single crochet stitches, and you should be working then along the bottom of your blanket. Work a single crochet stitch in each stitch across to the corner, work three in your corner, work down the other rough side, and then when you come back up to your top corner, you're going to work two stitches into this corner and join with a slip stitch. Once you've worked around one of your edging, you can meet me back here. At the end of round one of your edging, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and chain one. Do not turn your work. You're then going to begin round two by working in the back loop only of each stitch all the way around. So looking at the top of your stitches, you have the loop here that's closest to you and the one in back. You want to insert your hook under that back loop only and work one single crochet. Work one single crochet in the back loop only in each stitch all the way around, working three single crochet stitches in the back loop only of your corner stitch. So I'm just going to continue working here across the top of my swatch. All the way across to that corner stitch. And just like so, and one stitch, and then when you come to that corner stitch, working in the back loop only, work one, two, and three, and then continue on down the side. So you're going to continue that all the way around, one single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch, working three in each corner, all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of round two, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and chain one. You're now going to repeat your round two. Single crochet into the back loop only of that first stitch 
and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around working three single crochet stitches into your corner stitch when you come back to that first stitch join with a slip stitch into that first stitch fasten off weave in your ends and your seize the day throw is complete so thank you so much for joining me while you're here again i invite you to subscribe if you happen to happen to make this blanket i'd love to hear the story and uh, see a photo you can share that with me on social media and be sure to tag rich textures crochet so thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again i invite you to subscribe and i look forward to seeing you again soon until then happy crocheting bye mm -hmm.